Greetings, 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 greetings to my warriors, to my subscribers, to my TGs, to my family, and my friends. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Baby, listen, I had to come to the table today because there's been a lot of energy and a lot of communication, a lot of words. There's been, there's just been a lot of activity. And I just want to know, what do we need to do as warriors, as individuals, as tribe, as the collective? What do we need to do with all the sugar, honey, iced tea? Period. What do we do? What, do, what is the takeaway? What What is it all about? <laughs> that's where that's where I'm at. It, or, where y'all at? Let me know where y'all at. Chiron, 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 how it is you want to rock? Is out and about major healing energy we talked about it being at the north node of the moon the moon is in capricorn going into aquarius i should take that to your altar i bobo what i know about aquarian energy is that that energy likes to learn Ashe, we're going into the dark moon. Tomorrow will be the dark moon, uh, aka new moon energy. Ashe, it's a time of reflection. Y'all already know self care, self love, sacred Sunday. We definitely go on power up because, baby, how do we finish this week? What, what, what else is coming our way? Because I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, the messages that have been coming through, they have been on point, they have been true. Coming through, true. Papa Legba said the portals, the lines, the gates, the, the doorways, everything is open. And that gives room for all energies to come through. If y'all been rocking, y'all already know I've been talking about that. Checking your foundation, making sure that there are no cracks. If there are cracks, you want to do what needs to be done to heal them. Because it's not just a crack for good energy, positive energy to come through. It's just for energy to come through, period. You ain't got to get specific on that. I will make sure that whatever you need to come through has a way through. But everything else, baby, listen, know where your crack's at. Know where they're for. Ashe, Ashe, because we strong. We bend, but we don't break. And if you must have a tower moment, if you must break, then baby, break. Ashe, Ashe, get your pen, your pad, your libations. Get your candles, create a mood, create a vibe. Y'all know how we do. We're going to take out three deep cleansing breaths, holding it for a four, six, or eight count, whatever's comfortable for you. Releasing it through your nose, out your mouth, how it is is comfortable for you. Once you do that three times, you're going to keep your eyes closed, focusing on your breathing, and we're going to open up these doors, gates, and portals. Ashe, Ashe. In through your nose. Hold it. Hold it. And out. We are centered. We are safe. We are grounded, we are divinely loved, guided, protected, guarded, cloaked if necessary. Ashe. If there's any root work or shadow work that needs to come through, we are bold, we are brave, and we are ready. Aye, Bobo. If they're in the Loas, Odisha, spirit guides, spirit animals, and of course your ancestors that you would like to come through, you can say their names out loud or in spirit, how it is that you rock. Once you've done that, say Ashe, Aibobo, Amen, Amin, or however it is that you rock, Aibobo, baby, this is, this is about you, Ashe, Ashe. And whenever you're ready, you can open up your eyes and we can begin. As above, so below. As within, so without. So Modi B times three. Ashe, Ashe, Ayibobo. Ashe. 
Tasha Yo. Let's get it popping. <laughs> Let's get it popping, baby. Listen. Who? A lot of energy, a lot of communication. Mental clarity may be needed. Ashe, Ashe. Doing your grounding, your meditation, your breathing. You're probably getting the information, paying attention to your dreams like they asked us to do. Ashe. But what is it? What do we need to do with the sugar, honey, iced tea? Listen. Master key. <laughs> Thank you. And because... Synergy also came through face up. We'll take that as well. Ashe. Ashe. So Master Key, it opens any door. We've been talking about there are a lot of possibilities. Ashe, what door is it that you want to walk through? Understanding that help will go along for the ride. You don't have to do this alone. You have a whole support system, even if it's the inner workings of you. Ashe, mind, body, and spirit. That could be the teamwork. And then look at that, 10, 11. Things are in order. Endings, beginnings. Ashe, and it's like working together. I'm, I'm getting that feminine, masculine energy. There's been a lot of relationship energy that's been coming around. Make sure that your house, your home, wherever you rest your head, is your safe haven. Ashe, Ashe, all working together as a team, as a unit. Some of you could be in toxic situations, toxic relationships. You really want the beautiful, the soft. You want to be in your soft girl moment. Whatever that means for you. Ashe, Ashe. You may be tired of being the only one on your team putting in a lot of work. That cycle can end if that's what you want it to do. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship has to end. I mean, that cycle can end. There's been a lot of communication. Aquarius energy reflect on how vocal have you been in regards to how things are working within your unit. The connections, remember Aquarian energy, connections. That's the synergy. Things coming together, doing it, 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 it creates better energy. It's better when done together as opposed to going at it alone. Ashe, Ashe. There's an opportunity for a cycle to end. But in order for it to go in a, in a manner in which you want it to go, because not everybody wants to end their relationships. Not everybody's relationships are at that point. You have to know what's working for you. What words have you been listening to all day, all week, all month, all the beginning of the calendar year? What have you been listening to? What have you been hearing? Has it changed your energy and your vibe in any way? Has anyone else's relationship issues and dramas and situations silently been working at yours? Ants are small. They can carry at least, what, 10 times their weight? Ashe, there's an opportunity here. With that 11, you're at that 11th hour. For some, it's almost time. It's like the end of the day. It's about time to wrap this up. But you always have time. You do have some time. There are going to be connections coming to you, coming to us. This is a collective reading. Y'all know how I like to do it. Coming to us. Because this is letting us know that we're not alone. The energy that we're working with, whether we know these people or not, if we're having the, the same goal, we all want peace. Whatever that looks like for us. Peace is always on a high vibration. Getting together with your thoughts, with your feelings, making sure that everything is working to benefit the tribe, the team, the team of you. Before we ever look outside of us, we're always going to work inside of us. As within, so without. From the spiritual comes the physical. Ashe, Ashe. And congratulations to all of those who got the keys, the keys, the keys, the keys. Who are hitting milestones. 
Shine your light, baby. Let the rest of us know that, hey. <laughs> Don't keep it to yourself. Don't feel like you're being braggadocious. Don't feel like, you know, you're throwing it in people's faces. This is your moment. This is the thing that you've worked so hard for. Shine, baby, shine. That's the Aquarian energy. It's the star. Shine. Really understanding that that 11 energy, divine energy, master number energy, unity, learning, love, growing, healing, confirmation that you are a leader, getting together with the people that you love, care, and can honestly trust, people that want to help build with you. I told y'all there are opportunities coming. Ashe, Ashe, Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. Got cars flipping out and over. Y'all already know. Yes. Huh. What I tell you, 11 energy, this is like one. There's a reason you have those dreams. Ayi Bobo. There's a reason that you're having those dreams. They're still communicating. Look at this. Check for your keys. Make sure you got your keys. Make sure that you have everything that you need. Be observant. Be vigilant. Pay attention to the signs, the symbols, and synchronicities. The energy of it all. If things don't feel right, you ain't got to wonder why. You ain't got to question it. You ain't got no points to prove. Self-preservation is given to all of us. Agi Bobo. Ashiyo. What type of dreams have you been having? Your intuition is coming through. We have high priestess. Ashe, Ashe. So this is like, there's a, a collective meeting taking place. Mind, body, and spirit. And things have been playing out in your dreams. Your tribe is coming through. Your ancestors, the growth. The storm is clearing. We got rainbows out here. And it says, call your energy back to you. You want to know what to do with the sugar honey iced tea? And that's 44. Ashe, amplified energy. That's the eight right there. The as above and the so below. You're trying to figure out what to do in the meantime. Ground yourself. Work with the energy that is within you. See and acknowledge the opportunity that is laying right before you. It's not hiding. It's right out there. And you're worried about what door should you go through? Any of them. Pick one. Don't stall yourself out. Like I said, the 11th hour. Some people may feel like they're, they're pressed for time. You very well may be. Pay attention to the energy that you're feeling. I said synergy, huh? Showing my age. Jim is truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, 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 Jim. <laughs> and she used to speak to a hologram. Her name was Synergy. So Synergy and Jim will work together to make sure that the misfits or anyone else will not be messing up what they have going on. Jim is all about throwing out these goddamn on rainbows, having a good time. All this chick wanted to do was have her concert, sing her songs, be with her band, and enjoy life with her man. That was it. Ashe, Ashe. And if you have found that there are people that are not cohesive with your energy, and there's nothing wrong with that, you could be not cohesive to someone else's energy. Ashe, Ashe, and there's nothing wrong with that. We cannot argue with people's feelings. You can, but that just makes a fool out of you because you will never be able to top someone's feelings. If they even stop talking, if they ever say, you know what, you're right. If they just walk away, whatever, they're still going to feel what they're going to feel. Even if they see your point, even if they see the error in their ways. Don't you? Ashe. So the way you call back your energy may not necessarily be still being with these people. Take this key and, and move. They're moving. They got the plan. 
they understand the assignment and they are on the move. And it may seem small to everyone else. Hell, it may even seem small to you. But it will grow. We know that with energy. And what is being shown is whatever it is you put into it will be amplified. This is an 11 over here. Let's be clear. 11, 11. Remember? 10. There's the one. Never discrediting the zero. I always speak about the zero first. That's the feminine energy, baby. That's the possibilities. That's what's in the womb. That's what's, you know, getting its nutrients and, and growing. Waiting for that divine time to say, come on out. 11, 11. There's a lot of masculine energy. Aquarian energy is masculine energy. Being logical. Practical. Saturn sees to that. <laughs> energy is, is you know hey being able to see things from another perspective all perspectives another side you're in the seas to that ashe ashe but no matter what energy is coming through it all comes down to you and there's a reason that you're going through all that you're going through right now there's a reason that you're hearing the things that you're hearing right now draw your power back means you instead of pouring it out because the aquarian energy the water bearer ashe definitely pours energy out but in order to do that the vessel must first be full and everyone else gets the overflow the abundance do you see that you must pour into yourself first you're not a good teammate or a good team member running off no energy Others may be looking at you like you're the weakest link. And you like, shit, bitch. I know I'm not the motherfucking weakest link. I know you lying. Listen. But in this darkened energy, this dark moon energy in Aquarius, do you feel when you're quiet? Are you really at optimum energy? It's time to charge up. It's time to shed those layers. You're starting to find your tribe. You're starting to find you. You're starting to find the connection. You're starting to understand the energy. And no, you may not have it all together. It's okay. Ain't none of us got it all together. Yeah. A lot of things is a whole bunch of smoke screens and mirrors and perfect lighting and angles. Ashe, Ashe, don't forget. Real time takes place off your phone. <laughs> Aye, Bobo. Aye, yo. Make sure that you are on solid ground. 44. Four is all about structure and stability. This is Capricorn energy, Saturn energy coming through like a mother. Divine is coming through to encourage you to make sure that you are grounded. For as much energy and words and, and everything just being thrown around, for as much energy that is out here, Orishas, Lawas, Ancestors, as above, so below, spirit guides, spirit animals, spirits. Ashe, don't forget this is still the ancestral time. It's time for you to pour into you. Make sure that you have the energy to do your part, to do what you need to do. Get your rest. This is probably where that meditation comes from. You want to have to, you know, take your moments to stop moving. Because when it's time to move again, it's time to move. If you need to take a time out, say that. 1111 is a wish. Be mindful of the energy that you're putting out there. Call your energy back to you. Don't waste it on something for somebody else. Whether it's a curse, a hex, or a spell. Take the time and put that energy into you. Cards flying. Hold on. Overthinking. Yeah, that's definitely an Aquarian energy. <laughs> Quiet your mind to channel your higher self for guidance. This is what is being asked of you. It is all about the energies of you, the meditations of you. Some of us, our minds are very busy. And you know what? The planets are out. And again, reminder, all the planets are direct. Ashe, Ashe. Pluto is in Aquarius. Ayi Bobo, we already know that is a tandem. That is, that is a trifecta within itself. That is amplified energy. Old Luda Matt is definitely out and about divine energy, i.e. both Asha, yo. There's ancient wisdom and knowledge. There's divine guidance. Your higher self, that's divine guidance. Quiet your mind 
to channel. You're really going to have to, I tell you, plug in, tap in, check in. It's time for a check in. And while you're checking in, you're allowing yourself to just breathe and be. Charge up. Ashe, the key, what you need to do with the sugar and iced tea, quiet your mind. Don't overthink this. Pull your energy back from your ego, from your lower vibration. So you may need to develop a routine, a ritual in regards to shutting it down. The same way we start to shut our house down, we need to start shutting ourselves down. So when we go to bed, it is we're not just going to bed because it's time to go to bed. Did we shut ourselves down? Did we give our mind enough time to, to process? Nighttime, powerful time. Wintertime is dark energy. You have the answer. You have the key. It's whatever it is that you want to do. And that could be where you're overthinking it. Ayi bobo. Talking about it. And we'll take this one too. Talk. Okay. Talk. Let's talk about it. We have the Sons of Wands here. It is time to take charge. It is time to take charge. It's time to go for it. You have everything that you need. You are the magician. You are the mystic. You are the alchemist. Everything is in alignment. Are you in alignment with it? How do you handle the sugar honey iced tea? What I say? Charge up. It's time to rise up. Believing in your intuition, believing in yourself, understand that you're under divine guidance. You're under divine guidance. That eight energy, the as above and the so below. What do you do in the meantime? What do you do in the in between time? Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Watch those videos. What exactly is it that you're doing? Is it conducive to what you have going on? You see all this red? This is the power within you. I told you Mars was around. You have Aquarian energy. There's all about getting rid of the old, closing out cycles, 37, 10, letting endings. So beginnings is in the meantime. That one zero, endings and beginnings. Ashe, this is the final. This is curtain call. What is it that you want? You're going to have to say it, know it, do it, protect it, honor it. Ashe, how you handle the situation creatively, cleverly, analytically, there's a transformation. And look at that. The sun is the head. There could be a lot of nebulous energy, like I said, with your ego your lower vibrations. It's time to make sure that the as above, your higher self and your lower self are in unison, are in one accord. Your ego may need to be refreshed on the assignment. That's you talking to you, reminding yourself of the assignment. Knowing that you have everything that you need. There's no reason to overthink this. You're looking right at it. And when I, the world, what I was about to say is, you see Shango and all y'all coming through with the electricity. When you turn the glyph of the Aquarius to the side, it's electricity, a thunderbolt, a lightning bolt. Ashe, I told you Scorpio energy, boom, right there. Aquarian energy, Leo energy, Taurus energy, all the elements, earth, air, water, fire, divine spirit, the sun and the moon. The 1111, the unity, the balance, the harmony, the energy from you and your tribe coming together, rocking as one, as one creates the synergy that's going to give you the power for you to continue to move on to get the thing that you want. You want to conquer the world, baby, it's right out there. But all of these are fixed signs. Meaning, they're a little stubborn. Once they make their mind up, that's it. Choose. Choose. Y'all know, listen, if you new here or you don't fully understand me, I'm not soft. I'm not here to, to make you feel comfortable. I'm a shadow worker. It's not comfortable here. 
But for those that need this, because when you get to my table, baby, you're already at the crossroads. You're at the 1111. <laughs> the amplified 11, you're at the 11. If you take that one and one and you cross them, crossroads. This is about you. Everybody wants the same thing. Success. You want to succeed? So do they. How do we do this? Let's get together. Let's work together. Sun and moon energy. In a flow. In perfect harmony and balance. Ashe. Ashe. Gemini energy. I had already shouted out Libra energy. There's a lot of air energy. And all of those energies, air energies, loves to overthink because it's nothing brain gymnastics is nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> it's nothing <laughs> i got cat williams in my head when he was talking about uh the weed when he was like um that shit you had last uh last week nigga. nothing <laughs> see god is the swords when I said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the dark moon is going to see the Aquarian energy. The dark goddess of, of that rocks with the Aquarian energy, whoever she may be to you or whatever energy you're rocking with, point blank to the period. That's all your energy to me. Ashe, Ashe, Ursula Dantor, Ashe, Ashe. Hecate, Nyx, Nuke, Persephone, Ashe, Ashe. It's a lot of energy out here. Standing your ground, being confident and secure in the workings of you. What's coming through is you already know what you need to do. You already know what it is. Stop playing around with it. You're wasting your energy. Call your energy back from that. Stop entertaining all these possibilities. You and your goal, you and your love, you and your mate, you and your business, you and your children, you and whatever it is are already connected. Even if these things have not happened yet, they are coming. The world's yours. The world's yours. Listen. We're not allowing people to play with words on us, around us, with us. This is not an emotional energy. It's the balance of the two. Having control over your emotions so you can make a sound and clear decision. In order to do that, you have to get your feelings out your mind. That's a trait of Aquarian energy, Libra energy, air energy. It's not that Aquarians don't have feelings. Aquarians just process feelings through the mind. What is it that I need to do? That's all Aquarians need to know. This is the problem. What's the solution? Pluto energy. Small, but also mighty and powerful. Don't skimp and sleep on ant. Ashe, one of the hardest working things on this earth. You ever seen a colony get busy? Baby, <laughs> get busy, get busy, get busy, y'all. White may be the color that you need to, uh, to wear coming through with Obatala, Ashe, your higher self, your higher self, Ayibobo, Asheo, Taurus energy, Sons of Pinnacle, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy. There's energy here still coming through of being a united front. Ashe, being cautious and, and mindful of your money. Yes, there are a lot of things that are out and about that you just absolutely love. Is it conducive for your bills and or any other financial surprises that are coming up? You may want to hold on to it. Think things through. Get out your feelings about it. I'm getting the energy that somebody, you know, want to flex on them. Like, let them know. Now may not be the time for that. Ashe, Ashe. If you have a money trouble, divine energy is out here. Let it be known what you need, honestly. Let her know, let him know, let them know, let it be known. Not only to them, but also to yourself. Write it down, say it out loud. 
What, what do you need? You have everything. Even a, a brilliant thought or an idea. Someone may be coming to you to work together. You may want to hear them out. Someone may have criticism or a critique or a remark. You're going to have to get out your feelings. Especially if you have a, a product or any type of business is of service. Ashe, Ashe. Yes, you may be the goddess, you may be the magician, you may be the king, you may be the queen, you may be the lover, you may be, baby, please, you may be even be the supreme. Ashe, Ashe. And nonetheless, we're still providing a service. If your clientele, potential or otherwise, do not like something, get out your feelings. Hear them out. You still have the final say. Goddess, queen, king. Be honest with yourself. Be true to you. Yes. Uh-huh. Some people are not paying attention to the, the dreams. The inf they're encouraging you. For real, for real. Pay attention to your dreams. Whether they're dreams, nightmares, there's a lot of activity. Are you running a lot in your dreams? Are you falling? Ashe, does things look familiar? Have you had this dream before? Have you been hearing people talking about their dreams? Like you, there's, there's, a, there's a message that's coming through. Ashe, maybe meditation uh, during the night. Y'all, moon energy. Whatever it is that's coming through or you're working with during this dark moon energy is going to come to pass. Ashe, Take that to your altar. But whatever it is that you want right now. And shout out to my niece. Because my niece showed me in confirmation that our ancestors are out and about, baby. But be mindful that there are also illusions. This is trickster energy out here. Ashe. There's room for growth and regeneration. Doing it for the generations. Creating a path for not only you. But the, the tribe that comes after you. Remembering the ones that paved the path. To help you take the torch. Take the torch. Take the helm. Take the realm. Take control. Take the charge. Being the leader that you are. You can try to tip the scales in your favor. But I would really pull that energy back into me. That no matter what. I'm good. Not everybody is on the same path. What's meant for you is for you. Have you been loyal to yourself? Who's been loyal to me? Have you been loyal to you? Have you been staying 10 toes down? Have you been standing on business? As within, so without. You may be overthinking this. You may be spending too much time focusing on what others are doing. You may need to. I get it. But at some point, you got to factor in you. It's going to be about you. Make it all about you. Ashe. Ashe, super intelligent you are. You're like, something's wrong with my brain. It's not working. No, it's just cloudy. It's just full of negative energy, nebulous energy, cloudy energy. Your ego may be popping. You can't hear your ancestors. You can't hear your spirit God. You can't even hear yourself think. What are we going to do with this energy? What are we going to do with the sugar honey iced tea that's coming through? Ashe? Ashe, in the darkness, the owl sees all the best in darkness. Stop playing small. You may be small in physical form, but you're a giant out in these streets. These spiritual streets. You hear things, you see things, you don't even know why things are things. Pay attention, watch, and again, to energy. Unity, harmony, balance, loyalty, devotion, building. This is a bird of prey. Plotting, planning, waiting patiently. You may be a person that works better at night. Stop trying to get on everyone else's schedule. Things will go better and flow better once you adhere to your energy. Ashe. Ashe. 